it takes a commitment, a vision, discipline, and very hard work to move the system. But you know what? In this state, the system is ready to be moved. That's really the reason why um, I'm running for governor. Now I look at Ohio and I see that we have drifted because we haven't done our job. We do have big problems in the state and they have to be solved. And they can't be solved with raising taxes because it's like having a restaurant where you have no customers. If you want to get more customers, you don't raise prices. We're pricing ourselves out of business. We can't afford to keep going to Washington with, on our knees with a cup, begging for them to bail us out. We have to assume personal responsibility. So if I could shine up the state, if I could make Cleveland one of the great cities which it once was, if we could have Cincinnati and Toledo and Youngstown and Steubenville and Columbus realize their potential, that would be, that'd be worth all of the effort. We can build a 21st century Ohio that just is great with manufacturing, with technology, uh, with the ability to use our universities to produce research and development to advance all of our companies. Generate these jobs and generate this excitement and keep the young people here to hold our schools accountable for how our kids are doing, to put some family values in that classroom, because after all, we're not just talking about education, we're talking about lives here. I've got two little 10-year-old girls and a great wife. That's really the most important thing in my life. We don't take care of our families. We don't have anything to take care of. Nothing else really matters at the end of the day. My parents were struck down by a drunk driver in a terrible time that changed my life. And, uh, you know, but they know my kids are here and they know who my wife is. They're just not here to visit with them. I guess that's one of the messages that my mother and father gave me, which is, Johnny, make sure the place where you were is a little better off because of the fact that you were there. So my attitude has been, you don't know how long you're going to be in these positions of trust. When you get up to the plate, swing for the fences. Because you never want to look back and say, I should have. I should have. That's a sign of regret. I don't want any of that. I'm going to go for it. One day I was a going into the gas station, I was complaining about how bad the budget process was and the spending, and the owner of the gas station heard me, and he said, you know, John, if things are so bad, what are you going to do about it? I didn't have a very good answer, so I went home, flew to Washington, called my staff in, and said, we're going to write a budget for the United States of America. Common sense, straight shooting values is what drove me on the budget. You shouldn't spend more than what you take in. Uh, if you don't need something, you get rid of it. If you can figure out a better way to do it, you do it. From 1995, when I became budget committee chairman with a team of people around me, we did something that hadn't been done since man walked on the moon. We balanced the budget in real terms, we paid down some of the, of the national debt, we cut taxes, and we had prosperity in our country. It is going to be very difficult, but very doable, to remove the obstacles, the political obstacles, the special interests, the naysayers, the doubters, and people who are afraid to bring about change. It took every single bit of energy I had to get elected to Congress. It took every single bit of energy I had to achieve things like a balanced budget. It's gonna take a tremendous amount of energy, focus, commitment, and discipline to get this job done. And I know we can do it. Ohio has been very, very good to me. Now's my chance to maybe do something that can be really good for Ohio.